Hey everyone, Rainbow Warrior here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty two-tone chevron scarf. I really like the look of the colors and the shape of this scarf, and you can of course follow my pattern or do random stripes, however you want this to look. So I'm going to show you what you need, and let's get started. You are going to need a crochet hook, I'm using size J, as well as yarn of your choosing. Two colors, I'm using Aran and Coffee Brown, and you're going to need scissors and a tapestry needle as well. Alright, so we're going to begin our project with our first color, whatever color you choose, and we're going to start with a slip knot. Then we're going to chain 22. So for this scarf, I'm creating a medium thickness scarf. This is the exact dimensions that I prefer scarfs. But if you want to make your scarf a little bit thicker, you can check out my pattern, and I also include a thicker scarf as well. But for this one, we're going to be chaining 22. Now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to do this all the way down our chain for row 1. At the end of the row, we should have 21 single crochet stitches. Okay, after our row is completed, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And from here on out in our project, we're going to be working through the back loop only. So the loop that is furthest away from us. And for row two, we're going to single crochet all the way down through the back loop only. Alright, last stitch in our second row. Now we're going to chain three and turn and we're still going through the back loop only for the remainder of our project and this chain stitch is going to count as a stitch and as well we're going to double crochet in that first stitch so really we're going to have two stitches there now we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches now we're going to double crochet three together, which is super simple if you've never done it before. It's going to look like this. We're going to yarn over, go through that first stitch, pull a loop through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and now we have two loops on our hook. Yarn over, go through the next loop, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and now we have three loops on our hook. So last one, yarn over, go into our third stitch, pull through a loop, pull through those first two loops. Now we're going to pull through all four loops. So it looks just like that. Now we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. three double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next three stitches and another double crochet three together. So I'll show you that one more time. Go through your first stitch, pull through a loop, and pull through the first two, leaving two on your hook. Go through the next stitch, pull through a loop, pull through two. Next stitch, pull through a loop, pull through two. Now we're gonna pull through all those loops and we're done. So simple. 
double crochet in the next three stitches And we're going to do two double crochets in our last stitch. Now we're going to chain three and turn. And again, this counts as one stitch, and we're going to double crochet in our first stitch so that we have two stitches on our ends. Double crochet in the next three stitches, then double crochet three together, double crochet in the next three stitches. Three double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next three stitches, double crochet three together, double crochet in the next three stitches, and two double crochet in the last stitch. So that is our pattern for every row from here on out. And it's very simple. The pattern is easy to memorize after a few rows. You'll get the hang of it. And it's not until after about row four that you start to really see your chevroned shape. So this pattern is really simple. If you would like a written pattern, please be sure to check out my blog so you can see that there. And I really like the look of this chevron or wavy pattern. I can't wait to do a bunch of other projects that I have in mind for this design. Alright, so this is what I have so far. I did 20 rows of my first color. And you can, of course, do your scarf in one color. I think that would look great as well. But I really like the accent of adding another color. So after 20 rows, I'm going to add in my second color. And I'm going to do that by, before pulling through on my last stitch, so I have two loops left on my hook as you can see, I'm going to grab my next color and pull through with that yarn instead. Now I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to turn. going to cut my yarn and I'm going to secure these tails as I go so I don't have to worry about it later and I simply do that by laying it over my work so that when I go into each loop I'm going to pick up that yarn And again, you're doing the same pattern for every row. Alright, and I did 10 rows of my second color. And now I'm going to go back to my first. So again, you're on your last stitch, and before you yarn over to pull through those last two loops and complete your stitch, rather than doing it with the brown, we're simply going to do that with our white. Alright, so I finished all my stripes and I'll tell you in one minute what the pattern I used for that was. But I first just wanted to show you how you end your scarf. So for your last two rows, you are going to end with whatever color you're working on. And you're going to chain one and turn. And for your second to last row, we're just going to simply single crochet in each stitch through the back loop only.
And for your last row, you're going to chain one and turn. And again, single crochet in each stitch through the back loop only. So just like we did for our first two rows, we're doing the same for our last two rows. And once you get to your last stitch, you're going to pull through your ends and fasten in. All right, and we are complete our scarf. I love the look of not only the chevron, but of the two tones in this scarf. And I'm going to tell you what pattern I used for the colors. However, of course, you can use whatever pattern you may want. So I'm making this as a gift for my Nana, so I wanted neutral colors so that it would match anything she wears. However, I think the accent color would look great in a bright color like red or pink or turquoise. You could do lots of fun things and you could even do more than two colors. So for my color work, I did 20 rows of my first color, 10 rows of my second color, 10 rows of my first color, five rows of my second, three rows of my first, one row of my second. So I went from large stripes to small, and then I go back down. So three rows in my first color, five for my second color, 10 for my first, 10 for my second, and 20 for my first. And another, uh, I designed it this way too, so that when you're wearing the scarf, you'll mainly see these white ends but the section that's wrapped around your neck is going to look very stripy. So I think that's fun. And again, you can do any kind of stripe pattern you want with this. That's the great thing. And I definitely plan on making more projects with this chevron pattern because it's very simple and very cute. So be sure to subscribe to check those out. You can check out more of my tutorials now, and as well, if you make any of my projects, be sure to share a picture with me on social media. Links will be below in the description, as well as links to everything you need to know about this pattern, as always. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.